Hey guys, what's going on? So I ran across something that Quantum TV said in a video that he posted about a week ago. And I'm a little confused by it. So maybe you guys can fill me in on exactly what he's talking about here. Because it doesn't make sense to me. And I will prove what he is saying wrong once again. I swear this guy is a fountain of misinformation and it's not even funny it truly isn't so i'll play you a little clip from his video here in a second but what he is claiming about the 2020 lg oled models is that you need to force bt 2020 color support through a secret menu that secret menu being the HDMI signaling override menu. So let's just go ahead and take a listen to what he says here. So from everything from a C9 downwards, this is your reality. However, on the 2020 LG OLED models, LG, like the idiots they are, hid BT2020 color support away in a secret menu. So you heard it right there. LG being the idiots that they are, hid BT2020 color support away in a secret menu. Well, like I would demonstrate, that is not true. Quantum, you're spreading misinformation once again. So, let's jump in to my PS4 Pro. And as you can see here, we have Days Gone pulled up, running in HDR, and if we summon the HDMI input information, and unfortunately you can't see this because my iPhone 11 Pro Max's camera has such terrible dynamic range, but if I walk up to the screen here, you can see that we have BT2020 color support. All right. So maybe you're thinking that I have just forced this support. Like Quantum TV was saying that you can do through the secret menu. Well, let's hop into that secret menu. Now to get to the secret menu, you want to highlight the picture mode. And you once you have it highlighted, you want to press 1113111. All right. So as you can see up top here, up here, it is going to say HDMI signaling override. But what you can see here is I have everything set to auto. And what he is referring to is going in here and switching it to BT2020. Well, I don't need to do that because my source device is outputting in this color space. I also want to show you that I have the color gamut set to auto. All right, so let's do another demonstration. Let's hop over to my Xfinity set-top box where I have the Baltimore Ravens versus Dallas Cowboys game pulled up. And I am from Maryland, and I'm a huge Baltimore Ravens fan. Although football this year hasn't had the same excitement behind it in years past just because everything going on in 2020. So this game's running in SDR. And let's pull up that HDMI input info here. And as you can see, no HDR, but we are running in BT2020. And 
let's just hop back into that secret menu to show that I'm not forcing this. One, 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 three, one, one, one. Everything set to auto. Let's go down here and check out the color gamut. Also set to auto. So my question is, what the hell is Quantum TV talking about again? I really don't think that this guy understands how display technology works. And you really wouldn't want to force BT2020 color space on content that is being outputted in a different color space. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it. More power to you. So I'm hoping maybe you guys can answer this simple question for me. Really, what is Quantum talking about here? And I hope that this helped you maybe understand that you do not to need to force a BT2020 color support on the 2020 LG OLED models. Once again, misinformation from the number one brand in dishonesty, Quantum TV. So I hope you guys have, are having a good one. And until next time, peace out.